If you spend any time in DC, you know this, the rats are out of control. They are, yep, they're everywhere. You're gonna look and I'm not. <laughs> Get this, DC was actually named the second rattiest city on the East Coast last year. That's according to Orkin Pest Control. But take a look mm. at these numbers because DC had more than 13,000 calls for rat infestation in 2022. So far this year, that number is up to seven. Thousand. Yeah, and we know DC health officials are battling the rat problem around the clock, but there's also a group of dog owners who volunteer their time to track down rats and then kill them. Tonight, Matt Gregory takes us on the hunt in the streets of Adams Morgan in Northwest. Saturday night, Adams Morgan, people in search of a good time. We're doing an urban hunting. Bamani Matume and his dog Barto on the prowl. Find a rat, find a rat, find a rat. Rat hunting. You're never more than 30 feet away from a rat any time in the city. Tonight, I'm following the rat hunters of Adams Morgan, Barto, Fitz, Henry, and their handlers. You guys yeah. figure out how to work them all together? Yeah, it, we have more of a problem working together than the dogs. <laughs> we start down the alley behind 18th Street. There's push dogs, there's catch dogs, and then there's lurchers. <laughs> the lurchers, the lurchers are like the outfielders. Nothing gets past them. Here's how they hunt. Hold on. All the dogs search for a scent, and when they hit on one, two dogs corner it, flush it out, and the third dog catches it breaks its neck in seconds, killing the rat. Yes, yes, good teamwork. You gotta go slower here, I got you. There you go. The dogs find rats in dumpsters, trash cans, even rat traps. Busy press. One by one. Good boy. They pick them off. Slide kill. Go, 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 go. Slide kill. This is Henry's night. If you're wondering what the people in Adams Morgan think of the dogs. Yo, that's crazy. They're little celebrities. Thank you. As the hunt goes on, the rats get craftier, climbing the walls or hiding in propane crates. Some get by. Barto, look! But the dogs keep catching. By my count, after an hour and a half, the dogs killed at least 16 rats. We just put them back here. We don't leave them out. Now you might ask, is this safe for the dogs? We're not putting our dogs in danger. Um, Rats don't carry rabies, so you don't have to worry about that. And the CDC agrees. If you're concerned about whether or not this is humane for the rats, Bomani says this. It takes these dogs less than 10 seconds to shake and kill a rat. It takes poison up to five days, and they bleed internally. So that could be very painful. He and the other handlers do it for free. But for the dogs, like Barto, it's become a job. If I don't take them out for a week, I can't live with them. House pets by day, trained hunters by night. Oh, it's still alive. Okay. Taking care of the city's rat problem one alley at a time. Matt Gregory, WUSA 9. Well, we reached out to the Humane Rescue Alliance about the rat hunters, and they tell us, this is a quote, killing rodents this way is extremely inhumane. It is also an ineffective means of management for an entrenched rodent population. HRA's Blue Collar Cat Program is a much more sustainable, humane, and common sense alternative. By the way, those blue collar cats are usually feral cats, which are not suitable for adoption. The HRA works with local businesses and homeowners to use these cats to help control the rodent population.